Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to do something a little different. And what I'm going to do is walk you through the installation of an Eero home Wi-Fi system. Now, Eero is a mesh networking system. And so what happens is it comes with three, uh, well, you can get one, two, or three uh, Eero um, uh, router devices that you would plug into your household and what it will do is create a mesh network. Now what I'm going to do is walk you through the installation process and then some of the advanced settings and those sorts of things and get an idea for uh, whether Eero is right for you or not. Uh, and I'm also going to test it out to see if it's uh, going to work well on my network as well. So I'll be the guinea pig for you checking this out. So this is the uh, Eero application. Now the one thing about Eero is that it is, uh, all the setup features are through your iOS devices or Android devices. And so everything is there at your fingertips. And so the first thing you need to do is download the actual Eero application. Now I've already done that. So let's go ahead and uh, hit the uh, open button and let's take a look at the app for the first time. Okay, so here we are inside the Eero application, and so it's going to ask you to log in or set up Eero. And I'm just going to tap on Set Up Eero, and let's see what it does. And so the first thing it does is asks for you to create an account. Now, one of the things about Eero is that uh, it is a web-based uh, interface in the sense that uh, it goes and connects with their servers and keeps everything up to date for you and does analysis and all those sorts of things. It's different in that you don't have a web page to customize the application. Now this is a, a more simplified uh, interface and uh, it's a little bit cleaner to simplify your networking. So I'm going to go ahead and put my information in here and then we'll go to the next screen. Okay now that I've got that information in there I just tap on next and now it's going to ask to verify my cell phone. So what it's going to do is send me a verification code that I need to put in there. So let me just go ahead and get that code and I'll enter it and we'll take the next step. Okay, now that I've got that verification code put in there, I'm going to tap on Next. And so now it's going to launch uh, the Eero setup. And so what it does is it lays out uh, what you'll need to set up your Eero on your network. So we need the Eero. Uh, and like I said, I got a three pack, so there'll be three of those. You have your power cord, your Ethernet cable, and your modem. And so what we're going to do is set up the very first Eero and connect it to your modem. And so again, this functions as a router. So you're going to put the Ethernet cable into the modem and then into the back of the Eero itself and then plug it in. Now a couple of little things there is the Eero has uh, two Ethernet ports on each unit, uh, which if you've got a number of other devices you're going to need more than that. It will work with a switch, and so I did get a, uh, a Netgear switch that I'm going to connect to two of these because in two locations I've got uh, a number of devices that I like to connect via Ethernet. And so I'm going to go ahead and set that up and make that work. So let's just tap uh, Start. And so the first thing they want you to do is unplug your modem and your existing router. And so, again, you would unplug whatever your existing router is and your modem to start with, uh, with no network. So it's going to take your network down, just so you know, because you're going to be setting up a new one. Uh, if I slide to the left here, you can see that uh, then you'll connect your Eero to the modem via Ethernet cable. And then from there, you'll plug in your Eero and your modem. And then when you power that back on, then it's going to start the process of setting up your Eero. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to plug uh, that information in and uh, plug the Eero in and get it started. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it, uh, when it boots. Okay, so now I've got everything plugged in. So I'm just going to tap on Next. And it's going to start up my Eero. And it's telling me it's starting up. And it wants me to wait until it's blinking blue before continuing to the next step. As I look on my Eero, I am seeing that blue light blinking, so I'm going to tap on Next. And so now it's going to look for my Eero. And you can see that it's searching for it. And it's found it. So now it's found my Eero, so we're ready to go. I'm just going to tap on Next. And so now it's asking me to pick a room where this particular Eero is located so that I've got a way to kind of manage them. So I'm going to tap on Office because that's where my Eero is. And so it's going to start this setup process now. And it's going to connect to the internet. It says this might take a minute. So it's just going to take a little time to do this. And once it's done, it will let us know. You can see it's registering it, so it has connected. And it says boom. 
your Eero is set up. Let's create your network. So that's simple. We've got it set and ready to go. Now we just got to set up our network. So I'm going to tap on next. And so now we've got to create a network. And so you want to create a network name and a password that we're going to use. Now this will be the same network name and password that will relate to all of the different devices because this isn't extending the network. It's a mesh network. So it'll all be one SSID. So let me go ahead and type that in here. Okay, once I have all that information in there, I tap Next, and it's going to create my network. You can see it's going through the process of getting this all set up. And it's doing all this automatically, so we'll just wait until it's finished with its process here. And there it is, success. Network is now up and running. So. The network's going on my Eero. I see a white light that's solid and looks like everything's going. So I tap on next. And now it asks me if I want to add another Eero. And so I do have two more. So I'm going to go ahead and add those. So let's tap on add another Eero. And so it walks me through the same thing. So what I need to do is uh, take my Eero and my power cord. And so once I've got that, uh, there's some tips on where to place it. So I'll tap on next. And so it says for optimal performance, they work best when they're placed within about 40 feet of each other. Uh, so it kind of shows you how, where that might work best. Uh, they want you to limit obstructions if you can. They work best when you have uh, when you minimize the walls, the furniture, appliances that are between them. Now in my case, I'm going to have to go through. I won't have good line of sight. I'm going to go. I'm upstairs with this one. I'm going to go downstairs and plug that one in in the front room that I've got that's right beneath me and then I've got another room off to the side that I'll plug the other one into. And of course it says keep it in the open so you don't want it, uh, you want it more elevated on a stand or a tabletop or a shelf or something like that. You don't want it uh, sitting behind things or on the ground or anything like that. So I'm just going to tap on next. And so you want to plug in your Eero with the power cord that came with it and the next one will be set up. So what I'm going to do is go down and set that one up and then I'll show you what it looks like on the app. Okay, I plugged in the second one. So now that I've got that there, I'm going to tap on Next. And it says my Eero is starting up. Wait for it to blink blue before continuing to the next step. And so I'm just going to go ahead and tap Next. And now it's going to look for my Eero. And it's found it, so they're testing the placement of it to let me know if it's in a good spot. And it says it's great, it's ready to be added to the network. So that second Eero has been found. So let's tap Next. And it asked me to, to locate where that's at. And so that is in the dining room, so I'm going to stick it on the dining room area. And it's going to set up that Eero for me. And it's just going to take a minute to do that. It's connecting it to the internet, it's registering it. And getting that set up, and boom, that Eero set up. So if I tap on Next, I've got one more. So I'm going to add another unit. It tells me the same thing. I go Next. Again, it tells me to place it within the optimal range, ob limit obstructions, and all that. Tap on Next, and it's going to ask me to plug it in. So I'll plug in that final one and get that set up, and then we'll see what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so I got the other one plugged in and set up downstairs. I'm going to tap on Next, and I do have the blinking blue light, so tap on Next again. Now it's going to look for my third Eero to get that set up. And so we'll go through the process of waiting for it to find it. And this one's a little bit further away, so we'll see how long it takes to find it. There it is. So it says we have a problem. We can't find the Eero. Make sure it's plugged in. Its light is blinking blue. And again, it asks me to stand close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug from the recording here, and I'm going to go down and try again. Now, you can set up using the serial number if you want to. You see you got a little link there. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to unplug. I'll come back, and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Okay, so now my final Eero is set up. Again, it uses your phone uh, for location. So that's how it was able to find what it was looking for. So now I've got that done, I'm going to tap on Next. And again, it's going to ask me where I want to put this. This one's in the family room. So now it's going to set up the Eero for me. I'm going to let it finish its uh, cycle. It's connecting to the internet, internet, so it's going to take a minute. Registering the Eero. And boom, that Eero is set up. 
So now let's tap on Next. And now, no, I'm all set. I don't have any other Eros going. So I'm going to tap on No. And so they say that your Eero system can take 24 hours to fully optimize for faster speeds because what it does, it sends that information to the cloud and then they optimize it based on your setup and what they see in terms of interference and different things like that. And so uh, automatic software updates happen. You don't have to worry about that. It just happens overnight. It only takes a short amount of time. And so they're just letting you know that that takes place. I'm going to tap on All Done. And so here we go. So now I get this uh, uh, screen here with a speed test that it's running already. You can see my three Eros down at the bottom. I've got office, I've got dining room, and I've got family room. And it shows that I've got three devices connected and they're all up and running. Now you can even see right at the top that there's already an update available for my Eros. And uh, if I want to, I can tap on update now to run that update and get that happening. So what I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and run through that. And then I'll give you a tour of the application and also show you how to do uh, more advanced settings and things that you might want to do if you're running a home server or you want to assign addressing and all that kind of stuff. So, and there you see I've got, uh, you know, 138 download and for upload. And that's the speed test I got right now. So I'm going to run those updates and then what I'll do is come back and show you how to use the application. So that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own Mac or software or need some troubleshooting help, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.